Hello, we are going to review the print driver setup and installation for a Canon MFP, that is a multi-function printer. There are things to note that you must have prior to starting. You must know the copier model. You must know the IP address of the copier. And you must download the print driver from the manufacturer's site. We will review that here step by step. First, open a web browser. Go to usa.canon.com, select the Drivers and Downloads tab. For this video, we're going to install in a Canon Advance 5051. So type in C5051, select the model, and select Go. From here, as you can see, it auto detects that I have Mac Sierra version 10.12. If you're unsure, you can always select the Apple icon about this Mac, and there's the, re the version right there. UFR2 is always a safe option for any Canon Advanced copier. However, if you have purchased a PostScript kit, you can also download PostScript. But in this, we're going to set up the UFR2 driver. Scroll down here, select Download. It'll give you a progress bar down here. All right, the driver download has completed. As you can see, open up Finder, go to Downloads. There it is. Go ahead and extract the driver. There's your DMG. You must be an admin on the Mac to install this print driver and the print queue. So double click on the DMG file, double click on the installer application, select continue, continue again, agree to the agreement, and install. You must enter the password for the Mac user. This is not a Canon or manufacturer specific password. This is a password for the user that's logged in on the Mac. All right, excellent. That is done. We can move that to the trash. We can close this window and this window. And we can drag the UFR2 installer down to our trash bin. All right, now we actually need to set up the print queue. So select the system preferences icon. You can also select it from here as well. Select printers and scanners. And what we're going to do is hit the plus symbol. Always set up the printer via IP or IP address. In this case, it is 10.24.3.8. This will vary. This will be the IP address for the copier in your office, home business, or location. The, L the uh, protocol is always LPD. Uh, it is not AirPrint, IPP, or anything else. It's always LPD. Set up a Q name of LP for line printer. This is the name of the copier, so I would recommend naming it the model. Canon C, which is color, 5051. And as you can see here, select the software option. Sort it by the model number. There we go. Select OK and Add. All right, there is our device. It is added. Now if you open the print queue, select Printer and Print Test Page. It should send the job over. If we look at the remote user interface, we log into the copier here. And as you can see, it's printing right now. We go to the status monitor. And there's our test print from our test user on our Mac. Now this is a color device, so one thing to note is that the defaults will be color, meaning any jobs that are printed, the output will always be color. I would look up on a Mac or Apple support form on creating presets for black and white, or you can look at um, Mac information or support forms on cups. The common Unix print system 
for setting defaults to black and white. This concludes the setup of the print queue on a Mac.